The iPhone 17 Pro and the iPhone 17 Pro Max's new 4X telephoto lens has a huge flaw. The 4X telephoto won't give you a 48 megapixel photo unless the conditions are perfect. I've been using the Apple stock camera app and loads of you have been sending in the comments, use one of the pro apps. The best, most well-known pro app is Halid. Let's see there's the problem follow across to a pro app on a pro phone. We can see I'm now using Apple Pro Raw, which is is the same as using the actual normal Apple stock app. Apple process, that doesn't give us a raw file, but we can get a 48 megapixel photo. Let's go back a bit here. Okay, perfectly lit, we're in the studio. Boom, what do we get? We get a 48 megapixel file. It's not raw, but it's H-E-I-C, which is fine, but if you want all the detail of raw and especially the dynamic range of the bright parts and the dark parts, your highlights and shadows, it's not ideal. Let's go to process zero. This is Halid doing absolutely everything. All the Apple processing is stripped out. We're still on our 4X. Boom. Nice little photo of the uh, Sony ZV-E1. Let's go to that. DNG 100 mil, which is the 4X. And we get a 12 megapixel photo. Hmm. It's not just the conditions have to be right. There's something else at play here and Apple don't even tell you this in the tech specs. It is nowhere to be found. There's the 4X, 50 centimeters. Here's the crazy part. Even if everything is perfect, you may still not get 48 megapixels. 4X at 100 centimeters, here we go. What do we get? Ooh. 12 megapixels. And that's because you are missing one vital detail that Apple never tells you about. We are 120 centimeters away. Something happened on the camera there. You might be able to see the glitch. Watch, subtle. I guarantee you this is 48 megapixels. Let's take a look. Dun, dun, dun. 48 megapixels. And that's what we call MFD, minimum focus distance and this is something that apple doesn't tell anybody about the crazy thing here and this is going to blow your mind but i can actually show you this happening in real time before we get to that none of the mobile manufacturers actually publish the mfd the minimum focus distance which is a requirement for any lens google don't do it samsung don't do it none of them do it Phone makers will tell me and you, hey Vic, and other people. Consumers don't really care about MFD, minimum focus distance. They just don't care about that detail. But here's the thing. This is not the iPhone 17 consumer. Huh? This is the iPhone 17 Pro. And the last time I checked, Pro in this case stands for professional. This is marketed as a professional tool. And pros like me and you actually do care about these things. If you buy a lens from Sony, Canon, Nikon, or whoever else, they all have a minimum focus distance. Now, you're probably going, but Vic, that's a proper camera. That's like a professional camera with their lens specs. And the thing is, if you know the limitations of any of your gear, you work around it and obviously any lens under the sun is going to have a minimum focus distance and this isn't even a focus thing. This is a resolution thing. This is a 48 megapixel sensor going, uh, that's probably not going to focus well. Let's just give them the 12 megapixel and let's do it really on the silent and nobody will ever know the difference. Apple sells the iPhone 17 Pro and the iPhone 17 Pro Max. Could I be any more condescending? No. Maybe. Hmm. This is pitched as a professional tool, but they're hiding pro level specs. And that's a big problem. Let me show you this in real time. And as annoying as this is, it is insanely impressive. We have three lenses here. One is the ultra wide, one is the telephoto, one is the main camera. All of these cameras now have a 48 megapixel sensor. Now let's find my 1X, which is this lens here. We can see I'm on 1X, but if I switch to the 4X camera, dun, 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 nothing is happening. Why is nothing happening? Because I am not in the optimal lighting conditions according to this, but more importantly, I am too close to the subject. I'm not over that one meter away. 
you can see it's flicking there it's struggling now if I start going back see it kicks in let's take a pic and it is our 48 megapixel photo however if I start going back closer now my 1x lens it's gone back to that but as far as we're concerned it's not because the camera is telling us hey we're still in the 4x except we're not because we've switched to the 1x lens and are only getting that 12 megapixel crop it is freaking ingenious what they have done here incredibly frustrating however the technology that does this invisibly blows my mind probably even more than the fact that they don't list this anywhere but why does the iphone 17 pro behave like this and by all accounts the 16 pro does as well if you have it check it out remember the telephoto lens isn't 48 megapixels on the 16 pro but you do have the ultra wide start covering lenses and you will uncover and discover the truth <laughs> But is this just a cost-cutting thing on Apple? Is it physics? Is it, is it just something else entirely? Apple completely redesigned the camera module in the iPhone 17 Pro and the iPhone 17 Pro Max. They call this the Plateau. The 4X lens, and this is really nerdy now, the 4X lens is a folded tetraprism design with a much bigger sensor than last year. 56% bigger, if you listen to Apple, and that's what gives you a 100mm lens in a phone this 10. But physics is physics. A longer focal length with a bigger sensor means you simply can't focus up close. The minimum focus distance stretches out, in this case, nearly about 120 centimeters or thereabouts. That's the trade-off Apple made. Bigger reach, but you lose that close-up ability. A lot of other phones in the market that have a similar telephoto lens, they're not 120 centimeters. They're kind of close to a meter or just under it. And here's the kicker. Even if you do everything correct, you stand the right distance, you measure it out, you think the conditions are perfect, you may still not get that gigantic 48 megapixel photo. I have seen this countless times in what I feel is good to perfect conditions, but they're not Apple perfect conditions and I get a 12 megapixel file every time. Then there's times where the conditions are really bad and I'm getting a 48 megapixel file. It makes absolutely zero sense. Why? Because the iPhone 17 Pro and the iPhone 17 Pro's Max pipeline is always making the best decision for you. Apple will tell you photonic engine, photonic engine, or stuff like computational photography, but they never really spit it out correctly. You only discover this by trial and error and by testing. If you are using some of these lenses and you're relying on a 48 megapixel photo and you don't discover that until after your shoot or after whatever you've been doing, it may not be possible to go back and retake or reshoot. And then that's a problem for pros when it's a pro market and a pro phone. I just don't really understand it. While I get that Apple or any other phone manufacturers would say, hey, you know what? Those details don't matter. Nobody cares about MFD. If that was the case, then look at how detailed the specs are on, even on the 17 Pro, the spec sheet. It's fairly full on, but they never tell you this one thing. It's just literally one line of text. And they've got all this other stuff which you're probably looking at now going, I couldn't give a shit about any of that. But why not this one extra line? To me, this is the kind of detail that Apple should really be up front about. I don't think they're stretched for an extra line of text anywhere. But if this has been pushed as a pro tool, then we need all of the pro specs. What's the big deal? What's really going on? I'd like to know.